So before we get started, I thought I'd show you something else that's very important when you're getting older and you want to weed your yard or your flower beds. This here is my original um, kneeling pad. And this is the one I just got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand that up. As you can see, the difference is amazing. My old pad, I can literally squeeze it and almost crush it flat. And this new one, I'm squeezing it and it's barely indenting. So this is also a little bit bigger. And it's just going to work a whole lot better. Shoes are very important too. Get the brighter colored ones and then you won't lose them. Okay, now to weeding. So we're going to mix this up a little bit today. We've had this spot here oh, for 10 years now, almost. And right down in the middle of your picture there, that was going to be the fish pond. And I, I raised it up with blocks so I didn't have to dig it as deep because this is very heavy clay soil. And then right here in the middle is where the waterfall is going to be. So you can tell it's not very well maintained here. And it's kind of a pain to get to it. I've got some potted plants in there and stuff. So we're going to we're going to refurbish this area. So I'm going to take you along with the process and uh, show you how we're going to do this. This is the view from the other side. We're going to start by weeding here. We're going to leave the plants for now along here. Got some bamboo in there. This is the walkway that we use to get to our water spigot here. You can barely see it in there. So this gives you another shot here. Back there underneath the palm there. That's where the waterfall is going to be. So we've changed it. This here is where bamboo is going to be now. And then all of this will be turned into a flower bed here. And we'll get this old fountain, the mermaid fountain. We'll get it all working again. And here I've got two butterfly bushes. And yes, I understand that they're invasive. At least here in Oregon. There's our mermaid fountain. And the whole point of this is that is our downstairs master bedroom where we sleep. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get all the weeds out of here. Everybody knows how to pull weeds, so I'm not going to video any of that. And then, uh. As the progress goes along, I'll bring you back and let you see what we got going. So stand by. Okay, so after two hours of weeding here and doing a little bit of cleanup, I still have a lot more cleanup to go. But there is pretty much no weeds. Now, we're not looking at the flower beds right now. Those will get it later. My main goal is to get this opened up so we can get to the faucet. And then we got a little special project we're going to do right here. And if you look, there's pretty much no weeds. Now, something I do have to tell you is that bamboo that's right in the center there, it is in a pretty sturdy plastic pot. And as you can see, it's growing off to the right. So it split the pot right open. And you see it right there. So just a friendly reminder to everyone that uh, even though it's in a pot, bamboo will just take care of the pot. Now, this here is a corkscrew willow right here. It came from the mother tree behind it. So, a neighbor might want one of them, and I think there's three of them in there. 
and corkscrew drill is very easy to start. Basically, you cut a branch off and you stick it in the ground. And that is it. I've had almost, I've had 75% success rate. And I think it's closer to 90, but we're going to go with 75%. So that'll be pretty, pretty cool to get rid of that. I've got some butterfly bushes. All the other plants that were in planters here, they're uh, kind of sitting over here. And it's all going to be rehomed hopefully in the next week. I don't know. Our county fair is this week, so we're going to be going to that. But yeah, this, this looks a lot better than it did. And there's that bamboo down there. Anyway, I hope you like this uh, first video. We're going to do a few more, and we got some surprises coming up. Good good use of a spot that has really been neglected for about, I would say, 10 years. And always wanted a fish pond here, but that's just not going to happen. Too much work, and pumps use too much electricity. So, anyway... Ramble, ramble. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you're going to enjoy what's coming in the future. All right. Take care.